research tips from Monica Wahi of Death Wench Professional Services. Visit us at www.deathwench.com and let Death Wench do your data. Hi, it's Monica Wahi, president of Death Wench Professional Services. We're continuing to analyze our data set of fake myocardial infarction survivors. Watch the previous videos and look at my blog post to learn about the background of these fake people. Now, what we're, our goal of these videos is to get to a survival analysis, but on the way, we often get to the showstopper. The showstopper is in every statistical software. You wanna do some sort of fancy statistics, but first you have to transform the data or edit the data or uh, what's other words, recode the data. I know people come up with all kinds of uh, names for it, but basically it's a pain in the butt because you're wrangling with this data and you really want to be doing statistics. So what I got for you here is a little cookbook, just a little cookbook in R that should help you be able to edit, transform, recode your data. So I thought I'd start with my blog post because it goes over what I'm going to go over. First, we're going to make a two-state flag, meaning a 1-0 flag for being over age 65 and under age 65. Next, we're going to make age groups. We're going to use the greater than and less than signs as conditionals to do that. We're going to use is and a for making a missing flag, and we're also going to use the not conditional for making a non-missing flag. Next, let's take a sneak peek at our actual field. Here it is, age at presentation, and look, some of them are missing. Hmm. Here we are in R. So let's go and open the script I prepared for you. We'll go down to where we're saving our official scripts in our code directory. If you're curious about these other ones, watch my other videos. We're gonna run this code here. And as you can see, this is us making variables. So let's start with the first one. We've got this arrow here, which means we're going to make something. We're gonna make it over 65 variable. That's the name of it. And I always start by just putting some number in. It makes sense to put zero in. And so we're gonna start by giving everybody a zero in that field. Presumably that happened. And then now we're gonna mess around with that zero for people who shouldn't have a zero, which are people over age 64, right? Because 65 and over is everybody over age 64. Now notice that the conditionals are actually put on the left side of this, which is sort of counterintuitive because this is a thing you're making and these conditionals apply to something that already exists, but it actually goes over here in brackets. So where age at pres is greater than 64, this is gonna get a one. And then, of course, we have to check it. Um, and I go through this check code in earlier videos and also on my blog. I'm going a little slow here. Okay, so let's scroll up to the top. So age of presentation, if you're 38, you should get a zero, but if you're 72, you should get a one. Looks pretty good. Alrighty, let's clean up here. Let's clear our console. Let's clear our console and uh, look at our next variable. Okay, so the next thing we're doing is making an age grouping variable. And the goal is to have everybody have either a one, a two, or a three. Well, you already know about the threesies. They're gonna be 65 and over, right? So what are our middle group gonna have? Well, it's gonna be greater than 44, right? So 45 to less than 65, which is 64. So 45 to 64. And everybody younger than 45 is gonna go in group one. So let's just make everybody young to begin with and make everybody have a one to begin with. Look at that. All right. And next, you're gonna see some fancy stuff. Before, we just had brackets. Now we have brackets with nested parentheses in them. Why is that? Well, we have two conditions here and we wanna join them with an and. So they have to be greater than age 44, but they have to be less than age 65 in order to get a two. So now we'll put them in their place. So now we've, we've edited the one out and put a two where these conditions are met. Finally, let's code the oldsters here. And again, they're just 
greater than 64, so all the 65 year olds and older will get coded here. And to convince ourselves we didn't screw that up, we will just go here and use this code to check it. And here we go. Um, well, if you're 38, you belong in the first group, and you're 59 or 54, you belong in the second group. And if you're older, like these 70 somethings, you belong in the third group, but look, there's this NA, so let's cover that. Okay, so now we're gonna make our no age variable, which we probably should have done originally. So we're gonna clear the console, and then we're gonna go down here and look at our no age variable. So this is what we're gonna call it, is no age, and we're gonna start optimistically with giving everybody a zero. Now we are going to set the is NA conditional. So if it if age at presentation is NA, they're going to get a one. And to convince ourselves that that actually worked, we have some code over here that will test it. And then we should see that guy flagged. Here he is. But sometimes you don't want to know if something is missing. You want to know if it's not missing. So let's go and try that one. So we're going to go clean up what we just did here. Clear console and go look at our non-missing flags. So we're going to start and call this one age not null. If you work with SQL, you're used to using the term null. So we're putting a zero in for everybody. And then this time, notice this looks a lot like our last code here, only there is a bang, a exclamation point in front of it. So that negates everything in R. The exclamation point says that it's not. So if it's not an A, um, then you'll get a one this time. Okay, so let's see here. Now let's see if it came out the way it was supposed to. Everybody's got an age here, except that guy. Sure enough, it worked. Well, before I let you go, let me just widen this up a little bit here and show you a few more tricks. So these are just some other examples I won't run for you, but I, I just want to talk about. So let's say that you wanted to flag them with a one if they had exactly age 54 because I wanted to show you how do you say something equals 54. You have to do two equals. So this would flag this if the person's age was exactly 54. Now, we also can use the not with that. See these equals equals? This next code will flag people if their age is anything but 54. See that? So this is the uh, bang that negates that equals. Also, um, what about or? I showed you and, what about or? Well, remember in and, you had these nested parentheses, but you had an ampersand. Well, in or, you use the pipe. I love the pipe. All right, and so this one just gives you this weird example of what if you wanted to flag people if their age was 54 or 76, like exactly that. I don't know. And then finally, um, this is a example of greater than are equal to because I just showed you greater than upstairs and also less than or equal to. So basically you just have, it's exactly what you think. And so this would flag somebody who's greater than or equal to 72. Maybe I should have done that above, but I just thought that would be a little bit too much. All right. So if you're wondering how to do like really hard things like dates, like prepare time to event data, you're just going to have to watch the next video. And if you're seeing me on YouTube, you should really check out my blog. And if you're reading me on the blog, look at my YouTube video. This is Monica Wahi signing off, reminding you to let Deathwench do your data. If you like these research tips, visit us at deathwench.com and let Deathwench do your data.